In this video, we're going to look at a technique for creating an anchor directly from the rope your load is attached to. This technique is very commonly used in multi-pitch rock climbing to create a belay anchor efficiently and with very little equipment, but its principles also carry over into other scenarios. Variations on it can be used in a number of situations where you want to create an anchor without using dedicated anchor webbing or cordage. I'm going to demonstrate the climbing application of this technique and leave adapting it to other situations to your creativity. Because this is a rock climbing technique, one end of the rope is already attached to my harness. If you don't have one end of the rope attached to a fixed object in the scenario you're applying this technique, you need to change that. The technique is based on the use of clove hitches, and while clove hitches are very secure, there is a slight chance that they will slip under cyclic loading. So you want to have the end of your rope secured in some way. Here it's secured to me, so there's no way it can get pulled through a clove hitch at our anchor. I'm going to start by creating a clove hitch on one of the carabiners. Now this clove hitch actually serves two purposes. It is both one half of our two-point anchor that we'll be using to belay our second up to us. It also gives me a tether so that I'm attached to the rock and there's no danger of me falling. So in addition to allowing you to build an anchor without carrying specific anchor equipment, it also provides you a tether to avoid having to carry yet another piece of equipment. And I'm going to take a, a suitable amount of rope and tie a second clove hitch. And what's suitable is will vary from situation to situation, depending on what position we want the focal point for our anchor to be. So we have the end of the rope running from me to a clove hitch, a nice large loop to another clove hitch. And now we have the makings of a cordlet here. We can just secure it as we would with any cordlet by pulling it in the direction of anticipated loading and tying a knot, an overhand, a figure eight, a whatever knot. So now we have a focal point from which we can belay our second, and we also have a tether for ourselves.